The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of Access for Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting groups. If you'd like to produce a show, call us at 260-421-1250. Hello, Chauncey. Hey, Patty. How you doing? I'm doing. Welcome to my TV show, Patty's Page. I'm Patty Hunter, and I have my special guest on the phone named Chauncey Palchair. So how you be? Uh, everything's going good today. Everything's good. And uh, we haven't spoken to you each other for several, about a year and a bit. So it's been yeah. a long, long time. So what have you been up to in 2017? Um, well, pretty much, um, oh, let's see, uh, a couple months ago, I was down in L.A., or a month ago, I was down in L.A. for the Leonard Belkir statue. Mm -hmm. um, we're working on a mural in San Francisco. Um, just a little bit of... Uh, going and, and supporting people with their events. Um, pretty much just trying to get my life back in order. Um, was on a go for about two years. Oh. And um, still, uh, still asking everybody to uh, campaign for Leonard's Freedom. Uh, we're really pushing for the, asking everybody to get the word and to uh, maybe uh, recommend him get moved to a medium security or some better health care. How long has be? Yeah. How long has be? Has he been incarcerated? Uh, he's going on forty-three years now. That's not good. <clears throat> How's his health? His health ain't getting any better. Um, he had that open heart surgery. Uh, he was complaining he wasn't so much pain after that, but he was still waiting for uh, his prostate surgery. And um, he just ain't getting the best medical care in there. Um, they just don't take care of those guys in there um, like good doctors would out here. And he's in Florida still? Yeah, he's still in Coleman, Florida. Maximum security. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh. We're praying for him and we are trying our best to help your father and you to help your father as well, eh? Yeah, well, I, um, I sure appreciate all the supporters' support. Um, I couldn't have done a lot of the work I did if it wouldn't have been for the supporters. Yes. Um, so I always like to start off by thanking you supporters. Yes. How is your family? Um, my sister Kathy, she's doing okay in L.A. Uh, my sister Marquita, she's in Kansas. Mm. I talked to her a little bit. Uh, here a few months back, and she seemed to be doing all right. Uh, my sister Lisa, she's struggling. Yeah. Um, Minnesota, um, just trying to get back on her feet. And um, Emily and the girls, it's it's a rough go for them. Uh, they lost their husband, their father, Law, my brother, um, year year ago uh, last December. Oh, wow! And, uh, it's uh, it's been a struggle for them. Our condolences. The big yeah, big loss. Uh, are you the oldest in Leonard Pelche's family? Your your father? Well, uh, I'm the oldest son, but I do have an older sister. Ah. My sister Lisa is the oldest, mm -hmm. and then uh, I'm the next. Wow. I'm the oldest son. Wow. And uh, let's recap what we spoke about last time. Uh, why doesn't the FBI let your dad go? Did they say a different oh, reason? Uh, I don't know. That's, um, that's always been the key question, you know. Um, uh, both sides of the uh, admitted they don't know who started the first fire, uh, the first shot. Uh, 
never no evidence convicting Leonard, never no, uh, never no, um, true evidence to convict Leonard, I'd say. Um, everybody in the country, uh, went over his, his age. Um, yeah, it's, there's no reason why Leonard shouldn't be free. There's too many of us taxpayers paying to keep this man wrongfully incarcerated still. That's not right either. It's no, that ain't right. It's uh, yeah, it's just uh, nobody, nobody, all the supporters can't um, can't fathom it. Just don't understand why he's still in there. Uh, if the justice system would go by their own rules, Leonard would be free. And people all over the world, they're all pitching in to wanting your dad to get free, eh? Yes, he's got supporters all over the world. Um, presidents of countries, oh. um, doctors, attorneys, judges. It just goes on and on. I mean, police officers have signed petitions while I uh, was petitioning for him. Mm. I mean, it just, it's one of the biggest rights violation cases in history. Is he a political prisoner? Yeah. Oh. And, um, oh, that's, oh. that's not right. We're going to try uh, harder to get your dad out. But, uh, How's this affecting you and your family now? Now it's been uh, 43 years, eh? 43 years. Um, like me and my sister was talking down there in L.A. Uh, when I was down there last month. Um, mm -hmm. She don't know Leonard. Leonard don't know her. No. Same thing with me. I don't know Leonard. Leonard don't know me. How old were uh, you? When I was like 10. 10? Ten? Mm. Yeah. 10 years old. Uh, just a little boy. Yeah. And, uh, and your mama? I understand, you know. Uh, mm. At the time, didn't understand what they were doing to my father until years later down the road. Uh, investigate more of this case and, and look at it, um, some of the evidence that was falsified, uh, witnesses um, corroborated stories, um, evidence was held, uh, was held back that would um, would have acquitted him. I mean, it's just, it's, that's why it's one of the biggest rights violation cases in history and that's why uh, pe so many people in America all over the world don't believe why he's still in there. Is it because of him being Native American? What's that? Is it because of him being Native American, Lakota? Or yeah, him being Native American, um, Natives have been, you know, fighting for 500 years for, yes. for, for our land. Um, still fighting for it, they're still after it, still trying to take it. Uh, they're taking more and more all the time. Yeah. With this new president here, um, a lot of people are worried, you know, that's that's their homes. Yeah. Uh, that's all they have, you know. Um, the unemployment rate on the reservations are, are low, especially in Dakotas. Um, you can't tell me they can't make work there for uh, Native people. They make work everywhere else. I mean, that's some of the biggest, highest unemployment um, rate in the country is on the reservations. In Standing um, Rock, have you been there? Yeah, I did go to Standing Rock. I was there for a couple of days. Um, let's see. Right before the snow flew, it was getting pretty cold. <coughs> and um, that was uh, a lot of supporters there. That was uh, that's that's what it took to uh, to stand up and get that get that water and that pipeline. Um, people to realize, you know. Um, we're, we're human. We're 90 percent water, and jeopardizing our water is uh, suicidal. I mean, it's just plain crazy for for any human of any race um, to jeopardize any water. Wow. And yeah, that, I'm trying to understand the logic behind the government. I I'm not getting anywhere. Really. You know, I understand the oil companies and stuff. Uh, they're, they're, they run the country. They they have all the money. Um, you know. Yeah. They don't. They don't. Um, you know the way they frack and ruin the people's wells and water. Uh, that's that's 
main source of life. That's the main power source right there is water. Water is life. And without it, we're nothing. Just dust. That's, there you go. You said it, Patty. Yes. There's the ultimate human control right there, water. Oh, that's, that's why they had fights over water during the beginning of when the pioneers came over. Each other war with each other yeah. to get the water rights. And they're still doing that. I mean, there's plenty of water out there. Why can't we just share it? Yeah, so I start respecting it more and yeah. uh, uh, not polluting it. Uh, it's the blood of the... A lot of things we can do. I mean, that's, this is a gift of the Creator. Yeah, the Creator gave Not to Netflix. Right. Not to the corporations. This right. is a gift to human beings from the Creator. Yes. And uh, they all want the monopoly on it because, like I say, that's the, uh, that's the key to life right there is water. Um, you are director of the Pelche Justice Inc. What is that? Uh, no, uh, PelcheJustice.org. Oh, dot org. I'm sorry, dear. Why did yeah, I Yeah, PelcheJustice.org. I'm uh, the founder, the president. Uh, it's a nonprofit I got that uh, I raise funds for so I can do these murals, uh, so I can campaign for Leonard's Freedom. Um, that's what I use that for. Uh, what do you sell? I do a lot of prison work. Um, I'm, right, I'm carted at four prisons in the state of Oregon. I go in monthly and do uh, spiritual ceremonies, uh, sweat lodges. Sweat lodge, um, yes. Next Saturday I'll be at a powwow, a uh, prison powwow. Um, this is some other work that I do on the side is uh, um, do uh, volunteer work in, uh, in prisons in Oregon. Do you have an uh, art gallery or something to sell your dad's paintings? No, I am. Um, uh, my cousin Carrie Ann is the director of culture art now. Um, I'm still a, a, a representative. I uh, still um, deal with the art, but um, my cousin Carrie Ann stepped up and she's the director of culture art now. We have a print. We have a print of your uh, dad's. Uh, Rocky is a is a dancer. He knows three thousand dollars. The big thing we got a little print of it. It's beautiful, signed by your dad, of course. Uh, well, thank you for being a supporter. Well, you know we I love. Help support by, uh, by an art. We love your your family very much, and we're on his your dad's side as well as yours. Uh, <clears throat> I, I always support anybody that supports Leonard, and I always thank the supporters, um, keeping Leonard's story alive, um, help uh, help um, fight for his freedom, and um, that's that's a big thing. I think that's the supporters are the ones that really kept Leonard going these years. You know, and it's uh, it's a big uh, plus. All the supporters are supporting him. How can we help you and your family to help you, Dad? How can we actually personally do, get, give you help? Well, uh, my, my thing is, uh, uh, I've been asking everybody to write Leonard letters. Go to the who is Leonard Pelt, your daughter, your phone. Mm -hmm. um, get the address to call me. Um, write Leonard a letter. To the uh, prison. I'm, I would like it if, if Leonard was getting so much mail again at one time they had to hire a guard just to go through his mail. Wow. I would like it if they had to hire two guards just to go through Leonard's mail. That'd be cool. I mean, because there you go, there's more taxpayers' dollars that want to keep this, this man on the incarcerated. Wow. So, um... One, <coughs> one guard to go through his mail, you figure that point. Forty to sixty thousand a year, maybe eighty thousand a year. Now let's let's get let's let's have the two of them have to go through his mail. Mm. And uh, supporters are the ones that really uh, keep Leonard in good spirit. How, when was the last time you seen him? Uh, it's going on two years now. Oh, well, I think it's time you went. Let's get over there this summer. Yeah, you're co-director of. Indigenous Rights Center. 
What is that, dear? Indigenous Rights Center. It's another nonprofit that uh, does different um, different stuff, supporting the indigenous people. Um, they work with the Red Nation in, in the New Mexico area. Um, they help support uh, uh, Leonard. Do stuff for Leonard to help try to get Leonard out. Um, they do quite. A, they've been doing a few things around uh, New Mexico. Um, how about, uh, how many pieces of art has your dad painted so far over the years? Do you know? Boy, I don't, I don't think anybody knows that. Wow. No, I really don't know. Must be in the hundreds. Yeah, it should be, uh, it's got to be over a couple hundred. Yeah. At least, yeah. He's very good at what he does. He's very, very creative, talented, and, uh, all around very wonderful guy. What would you like to ask President Trump to in order to President Trump um, to do the right thing and, and free Leonard Peltier. Um, he's a he's a, uh, a man himself that uh, with a lot of power uh, had his up and downs to history and um, it would be the right thing to do for for uh, to, uh, for the justice system. Yes. The free land felt here. I mean, uh, the FBI say they get the man innocent or guilty and um, there's never been no evidence um, displayed that Leonard was guilty. So, uh, I think it's time that you... A good way for him to start honoring this justice system that uh, they're so proud of, and um, it'd be the first step of um, um, supporting the justice system. Hi. What would you like to say to my audience to encourage them? I would like to say that um, please uh, call and write that White House. Call them and uh, write letters to the prison. Um, whatever who is letterpeltier.info is asking to do uh, to, uh, to do it. Yes. It's a couple, five, ten minutes out of our time, a lot of these political prisoners are dying and, and um, spend the most of their lives in prison for stuff we take for granted every day. And um, it's the least we can do to show our support. Um, our system is broken, you might say, right? Our system, our jails and prisons are broken. No, no, I would say you know, when they start privatizing jails and prisons, that's uh, when it seems like a lot of bad things really start happening. Yeah. Well, Chauncey, thank you so much for coming on to my show. It's been a pleasure talking with you. We love you, man. God bless. May the Creator be with you and your family, and especially your papa. All right. You guys have a good one. Thank you, sir. That was Chauncey Peltier. His son, his father is Leonard Peltier, and we're trying to get Leonard out of jail. He's in his 70s now, in very poor health. So please. We're going to put the address of the prison under this and hopefully you can be able to write to the prison. I'll see you next week. This is Patty Hunter, Patty's Page. God bless. May the Creator be with you. God speak.